Hello everyone, Brandon Wrights here, Senior Application Engineer with Olympus. In this brief video, I'm going to show you some of the exciting new features available in WeldSight for advanced data analysis of OmniScan X3 data. Let's get started with this dual-sided weld inspection data file on a 4-inch standard wall pipe. While well, WeldSight comes pre-configured with typical weld inspection displays, customizable displays are a must for any advanced user and WeldSight makes that easy with a quick drag and drop of views to configure display layouts tailored to each analyst. We can start out by splitting the displays. We can drag and drop a display into a different window. We're going to open up the layouts tab here. And particular to WeldSight, there's a few displays that aren't available for typical OmniScan users. Uh, the WeldGate, which is a top-down C-scan display, which respects the weld uh, overlay as well as the heat-affected zone. So it only displays indications that are within the heat-affected zone and weld overlay. Some other views are our merge views, including a polar view, which I uh, will show you here shortly. And another great view here is our gate A merge amplitude. This is a volume-corrected C-scan view with respect to the weld. So instead of showing your focal law on the side, you have your true volume corrected position. So from the layout list, I'm going to select our 2PA ASC volumetric merge view. We can adjust our gates to gate out any geometry signals, help us evaluate that data. And I'm gonna show you our snap to peak function. So for quickly analyzing and evaluating flaws, we can enable our cursors we're going to set our cursors in our S scans in our area of interest of the weld. Then we can scroll through on our C scan and select our snap to peak function here in our toolbar. And we're going to snap to the highest peak within those cursors and respects to the group as well. So if we select this group, snap to peak, we're going to snap to the highest peak in that one. I'll show you another example here. We've got this flaw, snap to peak. and we wanted to go ahead and further evaluate that flaw, we can auto ADA with this shortcut here and go on and do our sizing. I'm gonna add a couple B scans to this display. Any displays that are customized, they can be saved and added to the default layout list. So every time you open up the software, you can continue to use your predefined layouts. I'm gonna add a swept B to these displays. So I'm going to click my first group there and do the same. So with our tracking function enabled, as we scroll through here on our scan axis, you can see that our S scan and our B scan are going to snap to the highest data point. So as we scroll through, we don't need to sit there and move different cursors, just move our data cursor along our scan axis and quickly evaluate that data. I'm going to disable our tracking function and enable our linked data cursor option. So our linked data cursor option is great for scrolling through two B scans at once. It ties the two data cursors and the S scans together. So we can look through the whole data file on one swipe in the S scan. So another great feature, an important feature to most analysts is going to be our merging function. So in our analysis tab, we can select merge. We can select our two beam sets we'd like to merge together. And between, we have a few options here. Uh, I've got them both on all on projection now, or we can slice it on different axes. But as we grab our cursors, we can scroll through that data in different axes and manipulate it for you know quick analysis and evaluation of multi-group data files. Another great tool is going to be our polar view. So the polar view is, you know, a projected side view of the part. And with this view, it actually allows us to length size properly for cylindrical correction. Tied in with our merge views, we do also have some 3D modeling features. Great for reporting, showing clients, uh, giving a better understanding of what exactly we're looking at here. So let's say you collected uh, a dual-sided exam, but in two separate data files. You only have one probe or a single-sided scanner. If we go into our setup and open, we can take these two data files. We've got a 90 and 270 SKU. So by clicking one, control clicking the other, our file merge button is checked. We're gonna select open.
And now both of those scans have been merged into a single data file, and we can review them both simultaneously. As you can see, WellSite's a great tool for any extra user looking to enhance their weld inspection abilities. Be sure to contact your local technical sales rep to schedule a one-on-one -on -one demo to get a more in-depth view of what WeldSite has to offer for X3 data analysis. Thanks.